once we have these values let us try to enter k a b matrix which is stiffness matrix for the member a b which I am entering here. The labels are as you see from here for a b the labels are 1 3 9 4. So, I should say the labels are 1 3 9 4 which I am entering <coughs> and just now for k a b the rotational constants are this. So, let us say 1.333.667 then 0 0.333 which we already derived. So, I do not think we have to explain this again you can verify the previous lecture and try to fill up this matrix easily without any confusion. So, let us fill up this matrix from the rotational coefficients So, I do not think there is any ambiguity in this let us once again explain for the benefit of the users adding these two divide by L that is 6 meter will give you this this value is negative of this coefficient. Similarly, adding these two by L will give you this the fourth value is a negative of the third value. Similarly, adding these two by L will give you this adding these two by L will give you this adding these two by L again will give you this this value will be negative of this. The fourth column is negative of the third column as you see here. Okay. Let us write down for k b c the next member which is again e i. Let us write down the labels for this if you look at this b c has labels 1 2 5 8. So, I should say 1 2 5 and 8 similarly for b c 4 a by l is 1 and 2 a by l is 0 0.5. So, 1 0.5 so 1.5 by l which is 0 0.375 and minus 0 0.375 similarly this is 1 and 0.5 1.5 by L 0.375 minus 0.375 again 1.5 by L 0 0.375 0 0.375 0 0.375 plus 0 0.375 by L which is 0 0.188 minus 0.188 the fourth column is the opposite of the third column by sign. So, let us fill up this. So, K B C is also completed. Let us go for K C D which is E i. Let us have the labels of K C D. If you look at this C D has labels 2, 6, 9, 7. So, 2, 6, 9 and 7. 2, 6, 9 and 7 and we already know 4 e i by l is 1.33 and 2 e i by l is 0 0.667. So, 1 1.33 0 0.667 addition of these 2 by l again. So, 0 0.333 minus 0 0.333 similarly 1.333 0.667 addition of this by L again. So, 0 0.333 and minus 0 0.333. These two 1.333 plus 0.67 by L again which is again 0 0.333 again 333. So, 666 by L 0 0.111 minus 0 0.11. The fourth column is opposite of third minus 0 0.333 
minus 0 0.333 minus 0 0.111 and plus 0 0.11. So, we have no issues, we have got the stiffness matrix for K A B, K B C and K C D. Okay. So, now I want to form, so let us talk about K U U matrix which will be 2 by 2 because the unrestrained degrees of freedom are only 2 by 2 for this problem. Let us estimate this value from the known matrices of A, B, C. So, let us say 1, 1 I want to see. So, let us look into all. So, there is an easy way of doing this. Let us see how this can be done without any error. Carefully see here 1 is present in A, B, B, C, 2 is present in B, C and C. So, for first row let us try to look into both these matrices because 1 is present in both. So, let us look into K A B, K A B first row first column 1.33. So, I am writing it here okay. K 1 1 1.33 first row K 1. So, let us enter that value here 1.33. Okay. Then let us look into the next matrix which is 1 2 there is 1 1 again one value here let us take that value plus 1.0 okay, which becomes 2.333. Similarly, 1 2 1 2 is available in K B C 1 2 is this value. So, let us say 0.5. Similarly, for 2 let us go back to this matrix 2 1 is 0 0.5 you do not have to go to K A B there is nothing of 2 order here no no 2 number is here. Okay. So, 2 1 is 0 0.5 so 2 1 is 0 0.5 similarly let us go to 2 2 2 which is going to be 1.0 2 2 you also have one more 2 2 in the next matrix which is this. So, the total will be 1 plus 1.333 which is 1 plus 1.333 which is 2.333 absolutely symmetric and square matrix. Okay. So, K U U matrix is E A times of 2.333, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 2.333. Okay. Let us find K U U inverse which will be 1 by 5.193 E i. You can easily estimate it from the first principles which will be again 2.333, 2.333 minus 0.5 minus 0.5. Okay. The next step is to find the fixed end moments. Cost because of the loads on each span of the member. Let us do one by one. Let us say span A B. subjected to a uniform distributed load of 12 kilo Newton per meter and this distance is 6 meters is it not. So, this will cause a moment as I am indicating here. So, this value will be 12 into L square by 12 which will be 36 this will also be 36 and this reaction will be 12 into 6 by 2 which will also 36 and 36. So, now I can write the vector which will be of degrees 1 
3, 9 and 4. These are the degrees you can see here. Remember A B has degrees 1, 3, 9 and 4. Okay? So, 1, 3, 9 and 4 for 1, 1 is marked here, 2 is marked here and so on. So, 1 is here, 1 will be here. So, this is anti clockwise is positive therefore, this is going to be minus 36, this is 3 which is anti clockwise. So, plus 36 and 9 and 4 both are minus 36 because they are towards left. Similarly, let us do it for the beam span B C, this is B and this is C central concentrated load 50 which will have moments of this type and n shears of this type. The span is 4 meters. Okay. So, this is going to be W L square by P L by 8. So, 4 by 8 which is going to be 25. This is also going to be 25 kilo Newton meter and this reaction is also going to be 50 by 2 which is 25 kilo Newton this is also 25 kilo Newton. So, if you write the vector for the span B C the labels will be 1, 2, 5 and 8 because you know there is a label of B C 1, 2, 5 and 8. So, 1, 2, 5 and 8 the values will be anti clockwise or so plus 25, this is clockwise or so minus 25 and the reaction entry is upward positive. So, plus 25 and this also positive plus 25. Let us do it for the third case which is C D. C D has got two loads. So, this is C n, this is D n, this is separated by a distance 6 meters that is a span of the beam. Okay. It has got one load which is 20 kilo Newton. So, this is going to be 2 meters, this is 4 meters. So, this will generate a moment P A B square by L square which will be 20 into 4 into 2 square by 6 square which gives me 8.889 and this value will be 20 into 2 into 4 square by 6 square which will be 17.778 and taking moment about the point D this reaction will be let us call this V C. So, taking moments about D Twenty into four plus minus V C into six will be zero. So that gives me V C as thirteen point three three three, and V D will be twenty minus thirteen point three three three, which will be six point six six seven. Similarly. Let us do it for the other load. This is again C n, D n. The other load is of intensity 30 kilo Newton. This is 2 meters and this is 4 meter. So, this value will be 30 into 2 into 4 square by 6 square, which makes 26.667, and this value will be. 30 into 4 into 2 square by 6 square which makes it as 13.333 and the reactions this reaction and this reaction will be 10 and 20 which can be said as V c into 6 is equal to 30 into 2 which V c will be 10 kilo newtons which we got. 
and the total is 30 therefore, this 20. Now, let me write down the fixed end moments of the member C D for the labels 2, 6, 9 and 7 that is the label of C D 2, 6, 9 and 7. 2, 6, 9 and 7. So, I should say to summarize this we have to add this let us make a summary and continue this problem in the next lecture. So, in this lecture we estimated the end moments and reactions of example 1 by other technique and compared the answers. Okay. We did this and we found the results are exactly same. The second conclusion we can make is we are working on example 2. We are able to locate and label the degrees of freedom both unrestrained unrestrained. We are able to find the stiffness matrix for all the three members K, B, C, C, D and then we also found out K, U, U, K, U, U inverse. We are in the process of estimating the joint load which we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.